I ran straight behind one of the classes and tried to jump over the fence opposite Gambia High School. As I hold the fence to jump, some stones started landing on my body. A man in Mufti, later identified as Mr. Sabali, got to one of my legs, right, and starts pulling me down. I got down and hit him. That story is false, isn't it? It's false. And this is a story you gave to our investigators, correct? Yes, I do. And it's an offense to lie to the TRRC. I did not lie. This is false. It's false. And therefore it's a lie. I have a reason. Answer the question. It is false and therefore it's a lie. I have a reason for it. Mr. Mboop. Yes, sir. Do you agree or do you not agree that this false statement is a lie? If you say it's a lie, it's a lie. No, it, not that I say so. I it say is because it is a lie. Council, if you may allow me... Do you agree it is a lie? Okay, it's a lie. Thank you very much. Uh, you gave a statement to the <coughs> Commission of Enquiry, didn't you? I do. And you gave them a false story? Yes, that one is a false story. So you have lied twice about this matter, didn't you? I can confirm lying once. And you lied to our investigators? I did not lie to them. I make an omission of my statement. What is the omission? That I was jumping over the fence when Sabali got one of, one of my legs. But that was a lie. Wasn't it a lie? It was an omission because it is nearly 20 years back. I cannot remember so many things uh, uh, now. Okay, let's dissect this. Okay. Omission means something that you leave out. You agree? Yes. But this is something you put in. So that cannot be an omission. It's like I put the card before the horse. No. No. Danga horom aferge. You lied. Didn't you? Okay, sir. You agree you lied? Yes, sir. So you lied twice? Yes, sir. Are we good to proceed?